is going on guys it is fatal reaper day bringing you guys a video as you can see we're doing a video on this scuff and the big topic today and i'm going to be uh, be doing a lot of talking in this video with the scuff controller here we're going to be talking about is this scuff worth it we got a uh, xbox regular xbox controller here for comparison to kind of go over all that stuff and whatnot but um yeah we're going to be talking about a lot i do have a video later on uh, in this video, it's another clip of me playing some Rebirth Island uh, with the uh, controller with the hand cam and kind of show you more of so what's the uh, what the benefits are and stuff while playing mid game live. All right, so as you can see now, you know we got this lap uh, this uh, regular Xbox controller compared to the Scuff controller. Uh, now the Scuff controller I did pay after taxes and everything was uh, two hundred twenty dollars, so they are kind of pricey as far as getting into that. Um, you know, let's talk about the weight. So the weight obviously is lighter. So the scuff controller is like a lot lighter. It's just so light compared to a regular Xbox controller. You know, this has got some, you know, it's pretty heavy actually. Um, and I thought, you know, that might be, uh, a, a, a kind of, a uh, uh, you know, kind of not something you would want. You would want it to be a little bit more weighted. But to be honest with you, I like the fact that it's light like that. It feels so much better in your hand when you're playing games, um, and stuff like that competitively or anything like that. It just feels just a lot more smoother and better and sleeker in the design and everything and i've had this thing for over a year and it's still still being great well, let's talk about the uh also the you know extra things you can get you can get the paddles here and your trigger control so you got these little things right here called trigger control and that's basically where you how far you have to click down your trigger for it to uh you know take effect uh personally i don't really use these a lot uh you can key it in right there you have, you come it comes with a little key that you can kind of uh to your liking put put where you want it so like you can mess with that it doesn't have to go all the way down and go halfway down a little bit down 25 percent down 75 percent down that that kind of thing so it is really universal when uh doing things like that but um yeah i don't really use the trigger control very often i have before and it has helped but for the main part i prefer just the regular old trigger pull as is um we're gonna talk about kind of the back here so again the paddles come in handy you can use those as extra buttons and a b x y it's so like, you know, your A button to jump, you can sit there and just push it on the back while you're, you know, doing other gameplay and having to uh, jump jump around and whatnot doing that. But the controller as it is, and this, this comes from most of the um, scuff controllers, you know, this is just a scuff prestige controller is what it's called. It's an Xbox, basically, counterpart. Uh, compared to the, uh, they have PS4 ones of store, of course, and PS5 ones. Personally, I like the Xbox the best. It's just what I've always been more familiar with. We're gonna take off the front here, and I'm gonna be showing you something really cool. Now we're not not gonna take off the uh, toggles here, but as you can see, you can kind of just take the front off pretty easily. Um, I always try to be careful as possible so I don't break anything. But the front is made to come off, or the top plate, the surface here, is made to come off, so you can uh, replace your toggles easy. And for maintenance and stuff like that, as you can see here, you can just pull the toggles straight off and get new ones. I just put in new ones, and I usually do that about every two or three months. I'll get new toggles and put them on because they do wear and stuff after a while. And of course, you know, on your old remotes, you couldn't really do that as easy. You had to take it completely apart, do all that, then take it off, and it wasn't as easy as the scuff controllers. The scuff controllers come right off. You can pop it right back on, and bam, replace your toggles, done, over with, controllers right back to normal, you're ready to play. So there are some really advantages for the controller. Uh, it, is, it is pricey, so like I said, these usually run around $200. But you can get very customizable. As you can see, mine has the Damascus camo, which kind of looks pretty sick in my opinion. Um, again, you can get different camos. It's not just the Damascus. You can get different things. Uh, and now let's talk about the backs here. So you can see this regular Xbox controller does have kind of a back uh, rubber kind of sense on it. But the scuff has such a better feeling. If you're playing on this controller, the regular one... Um, you're gonna most likely drop it. It's slick. It feels like it's gonna fall out of your hand where the scuff controller doesn't feel like that at all What I'm doing now is kind of comparing the, the sizes. So the scuff controller is pretty much the same size I would say it's a little bit just a little bit bigger than a regular controller um, Other than that, they're pretty much the same size. It's not really that much of a difference That being said guys like I said, there's so much universe uh, versatility with this this controller and the scuff, and I'm not trying to sell it to you guys. I'm not. I don't have any sponsors for scuff or anything like that. This is just someone who's made a purchase for scuff, and I really wanted to talk about their controller because I've I've just been blown away at it, and it's been one of the best controllers I've ever had. So I really just wanted to do a video on that for people looking into buying one and stuff like that. And of course, you can get bad batches. You may get one that's not working well, breaks fast, as long as you take care of it and it comes with its own case. Uh, I keep it in its case. I keep it brushed off really good. I keep dust out of it. I spray spray it out with a can of air. 
uh, do little, I have little uh, Q-tips that I dust off, use it for dusting and stuff like that, get any kind of dirt or any dust off of it and stuff like that. Other than that, guys, I mean, the scuff controller is, uh, is definitely worth it in my opinion if you guys are going to look for one or if you're wa uh, wanting one. I do have some more reviews on it if you guys want to see those, but this is the biggest topic that I really wanted to go over and kind of talk about as a whole and like I said you can got your case here that comes with it you could buy another case too I bought two of them I have two cases for it and I buy new toggles like I said every couple months and this next clip guys we're going to be talking about the gameplay I'm going to be doing live gameplay on it and I'm going to be explaining some things in there but it's a scuff worth it in a nutshell yes 100% I say a scuff controller is worth it uh, and we're going to be talking about some little bit more key points in this next uh, portion of the video of me playing rebirth I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to like and subscribe as always and uh, yeah, so let's jump into this next portion of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this portion. For this next portion of the video, we're going to be jumping to my uh, recording here on the with the hand cam. Um, also, I'm going to be kind of pointing the camera down here so you can, guys can see the gameplay. We're going to be doing live gameplay. And essentially what I want to do in this uh, portion is kind of show you how versatile and well the controller works. And you'll be able to see, you know, what I'm doing, how I'm using it, um, and how I'm utilizing the scuff here. So let's get into this. I'm going to turn my camera down here so you guys can see that. And we're going to jump in a game of Warzone here. Uh, this is a live gameplay. Um, so we're just going to see how it goes. Practice what you can. As you guys can see, you know, when I'm jumping around, I can kind of use, I can kind of use the paddles here, and I can do oh. stuff like that. Um, so like, you know, right here, the paddle I'm using right here, back here, is for the A button. I, you can set these. That way, you can kind of slide, essentially, like this. Um, now, like... And basically with the paddles like that, so you got the A button here, so like I can sit here and push that instead of actually pushing the A or B button. And it just makes it ten times easier when you're in game to utilize those skills uh, or the buttons layout with that instead of... Fuck you, cocksucker. Oh, be quiet. What you get, buddy?
Oh, that sucks. Okay, anyways, guys, we lost the game, sadly. Didn't win the game. Um, but, you know, to go over the more topic of at hand, you know, like I said, this, this scuff controller is just so much better than your regular controller. Not trying to sell you guys on it. Um, you know, it is a big price. $200 is a lot of money for a controller. But if you guys are wanting to, you know, shop around and wonder, is the scuff controller worth it? 100% without a doubt, in my opinion, the scuff controller is truly worth it. It has definitely been uh, awesome to play games with. Um, it's been phenomenal. Uh, it's lasted a long time. I've not had any issues with it. Not ran into any issues with it. And like I said, it's very uh, customizable being able to be, you know, kind of what you want in your controller instead of just a regular old controller or anything like that. So that is the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, as always. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.